entertainmentbooter.com Do 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 Alright, enough of my singing. This is Matt Haywood with EntertainmentBuddha.com bringing you a video review of the Game of Thrones, a pop-up guide to Westeros book. So as you can see, this thing is amazing. Right off the bat, we get right to the Red Keep. The illustrations and the paper craft are spot on. I'd like to give a mention to the paper engineer. His name is Matthew Reinhardt, while the illustrator was Michael Comark. Both did a bang-up job. So, as you can see, this pop-up guide to Westeros features various locations from the TV show. The first one we looked at was the Red Keep, where good old King Joffrey, little dick, lives. Right now we're looking at the Eyrie, where that crazy lady with a little boy that likes to breastfeed still hangs out. Uh, this was the only pop-up that doesn't fully spring up. Uh, it kind of gets stuck on itself, but still looks great. Next up, we have Winterfell, home of the Starks, or you know what's going on with them. Uh, as you can see, each page features mini pop-ups in addition to the major pop-ups, as well as these little pool pop-ups to kind of give a little more detailed information on the family that is tied to the specific area of Westeros. Uh, next up, we have The Wall, home of Jon Snow and a bunch of creatures with blue eyes. So The Wall is massive. I mean, it takes up two pages, and then it offers four mini pop-ups. So there's a little white walker there for you. Uh, these mini pop-ups scare me a bit because, as you can see, you got to do a little slight bend to get them into that cardboard sleeve that they plug into. Uh, but so far, I think the paper's sturdy enough that you're not going to tear anything. Although the cardboard sleeves with enough uh, pressure could probably be torn open. But overall, the, the quality, the build quality of the book is, is, is pretty tight, pretty solid. Um, so I'm not scared of, of really ruining or creasing anything. Now, if you have kids, on the other hand, you might want to watch out because they could definitely demolish these sets. So here we're looking at the entire continent of Essos. This is where danny has been hanging out over the past three seasons. There's her Unsullied. There's Astapor, I believe. Uh, Karth. So some of the locations you've seen from the show. So that's it as far as the five main locations. As you can see, the binding is magnetic, and I'll show you why here in a little bit. But first, let's get into a little closer look at the individual pages. So as I mentioned earlier, each location will have these informative pullout pops that kind of give you an idea of the family being showcased on the page. And there's also these mini pop-outs that can contain items that relate to the page. In this case, the Red Keep page gets the Iron Throne. And some of these side pop-ups are even doubled up. As you can see here, we fold it out. And now we have the Battle of the Blackwater with the wildfire, as well as Stannis Baratheon's keep, Dragonstone. So each of the five main locations will offer a few of those pull-out informative tags and the side pop-ups. So back to why the binding is magnetic. As you can see, this entire book can be unfolded into an expansive map of Westeros. The map clocks in at 46 inches by 30 inches so it is huge and you'll definitely need a large area to display it as you can see when it's fully displayed it kind of gives you a bird's eye view of westeros and it should also invoke the feelings that the opening credits of the show give you which this book is actually based on hence the whole pop-up motif so overall this thing looks great uh, if you have enough room to display it i recommend doing so in map form but as you can see, it's fairly large. Uh, for the price, it's a great addition to any Game of Thrones fans collection. So thanks for stopping by. Highly recommend the Game of Thrones, a pop-up guide to Westeros. I'm Matt Hay with EntertainmentBuddha.com, making you a better geek one post at a time.